So today we're talking about settlement patterns in the Americas. And uh, while there are many European countries that settled here, uh, there are three really main powers to focus on. That's being uh, obviously Great Britain, Spain, and France. Uh, this screencast will go over French settlement patterns in the Americas. So first off, why did they come here? Uh, and it breaks down like so, fish, fur, and faith. Uh, the fishermen really lead the way. Uh, right about 1500, they discover the, the cod fisheries. Um, if you've ever had fish and chips at a, at a um, restaurant or anything like that, there's a pretty, pretty good chance that was cod. And they discover uh, massive amounts of cod living uh, along the Grand Banks. Uh, just if you've ever seen the, the perfect storm, uh, pretty much that that same place, just off the uh, maybe the coast of Massachusetts in in that area, uh, and and so much fish. They said here they are fishing that you could pull the fish from the sea with a shovel instead of a, a fishing net or a rod. Uh, these smaller boats here would be launched from larger vessels that sailed halfway across the ocean to fish. And uh, they're called dories, and they said that these dories would sometimes sink because they were so full of cod by the end of the day. And it really looked like a, they stood to make quite a bit of profit. It sounds silly to sail halfway across the ocean uh, for, for fish, but when you think about the profit that can be made from international fishing, uh, it's not surprising that they made that voyage. Now... Turns out the fishing colonies were not as profitable as expected. Um, over the course of about a century, France losing profit in, in their colonies in what's now Canada, um, and they're torn apart by religious wars and, and infighting in France. And really they decide that, that you know, they've got uh, more important things to, to concern themselves with. And, and that was about that for about a century. That is, of course, until Samuel de Champlain, who uh, came and, and explored here in the Americas in about 1603, and uh, Louis Jolette in the 1670s and later in the 1619s. Uh, they explore parts of uh, what we call the American interior along the Mississippi River Basin, uh, in the St. Lawrence Seaway, parts of Quebec and Montreal, what's now there. Uh, and essentially what they report back are all kinds of uh, animals which can be skinned. How else can I put it? Uh, beaver, otter, elk, bear, so on and so forth. And uh, these, these skins uh, can be made into clothing and, and decorative wear, and that is very profitable. So just like the Spanish were after the gold in, in southern portions of the Americas, uh, the French were after money in, uh, in a different form. And really, uh, settlements started to take off after reports came back from these two explorers. Uh, now, keep in mind that they did have uh, a more legitimate cause for, for uh, coming to the Americas, and they really wanted to spread the faith. And that's, of course, the Catholic faith, being a Catholic country, uh, specifically the Jesuits. It's a Catholic uh, order of, of monks, and they're mission-based. Some monks sit around in a monastery, and, uh, and that's about it. Uh, the Jesuits wanted to get out into the field and convert new souls to Christianity, and that was their goal. Uh, they didn't have much success. Um, they got along pretty well with the natives, but uh, for the most part, there's a few examples of it not working out so well. But for the most part, um, while they you know, got along relatively well, the French did with the Native Americans, uh, there weren't a whole lot of uh, stories of conversion. And beyond that, no lasting, uh, for instance, the, the missions in, in, along the California coast and, and the, the legacy that those leave. Uh, the French don't really have anything to share along those lines. Now, uh, as far as geographic areas control, of control, um, pretty much what we're talking about is what we call the American interior. Essentially, this Mississippi River Basin up into the St. Lawrence Seaway, that route back to the Atlantic, this was the French areas of control. Um, now, 
for the most part, you don't find many examples. Now let's fix that quick typo here. Let's try that again. Not many examples of permanent settlement in the Americas. Um, the French established essentially what's more along the lines of trading posts. So when we get to uh, events like the uh, French and Indian War, and the uh, the wars actually preceding the French and Indian War, um, really what it came down to is them wanting to establish trading posts. They weren't looking to establish permanent colonies like you find the English trying to do. Um, they just wanted access to uh, the, the uh, fur trade that had been so profitable for them. The French legacy they leave us with essentially their language uh, in, in French Canada, uh, that portions of France, uh, portions of Canada that still speak French. And in the South, when you get into Louisiana and Mississippi and places like that, you get that, that Southern, what we call Cajun culture. Uh, if you've ever watched the, uh, history channel series, Swamp People, or any one of the other history channel series that take place in the South, um, that's, it's pretty much a hybrid between English and French, uh, music as well. If you ever listen to, uh, a music from, uh, New Orleans and, and places like that, very much, uh, French inspired and the cuisine as well, the French gumbo, right? Uh, shrimp gumbo. That's all of that, uh, is left to us, uh, from, from the French who settled here in, uh, the American interior first. Thanks for watching.